It's Saturday morning, it doesn't rain, we are going to Westminster. The gates are not working, please watch <laughs> through. Pay as you go customers, please speak to the staff at your destination stations before you exit. Oh, okay. This is J by their failure. There is a failure, power failure on the tube station, and you tell it on the uh, on the station the destination. They just let you out, and you get a free ride. Look, the big one. There are a million boats on this Mr. Pier. We need to find our boat. So that was our ship, but no, it tried to embark and then it failed and just left. Basically, did a rage quit. We have our suspicion that this is our boat. So we were supposed to get on the boat at 11:15. Now it's 11:43. The boat is here. It doesn't go anywhere. And there are like lots and lots of people. Check this out. And the boat is not huge. We are on the boat, which might or might not go to the right direction. to Kew Pier. Today we are trying alternative route to the Kew Gardens and usually it would be a district line on a tube. Today we took a boat which only took one hour and 20 minutes on Thames to bring us all the way to the Kew Gardens. Crossing the bridge now in hopes of finding some coffee on the other side of the river. Thank you. No problem, enjoy. Thank you. I think it was a huge success. The hive? Yes! Okay. Let's go to the hive. We made it to the Royal Botanical Gardens, the Kew Gardens. Oh! Thank you for the stick slot. Place one end in the slot, bite another end with your teeth and cover your ears. <laughs> what is it? You can hear someone speaking. Oh. You got a 
wetlands. <laughs> yeah, but it's a bit dirty. Cold size. It's pretty cool. And you remind her that got broken on this camera, I took it from the other. Mm. And also the lens. I don't think I've had a taste lens before. is pretty awesome. It also gives you this sound of a some sort of like a hum when you stay when you're standing inside of it. It's uh, is there also lights and it probably looks magnificent when it's dark. It would be awesome to see. Hive is amazing. Today's special program we have Kiev 6C, the medium format camera from uh, Soviet Union, uh, more specifically from the Ukraine. Made in, I don't know when it's made actually, it's made during the Soviet Union time, so yeah. We got this last time from St. Petersburg, I got film now in it, so we're going to shoot the film and develop it later on today and see if anything comes out. was amazing. We are navigating back to the uh, tube station. The film is shot. Let's see if there is anything on it. Here we got film. It's exposed. So let's develop it. The film is developed. And this is how it looks like. I clearly got some issues with this and um, the biggest issue was that the half of the film is completely unexposed. The reason for that was because I loaded the film incorrectly without reading any manual. This is unfortunate. The second thing which is sort of interesting is light leaks. You can see there's one over there, which is also unfortunate. This means that there is an issue with the shutter of the film. And then the third issue is that the images are actually overlapping each other, which is, uh, I don't know, there is another light leak. Uh, it could be because the film was loaded incorrectly, it could be because the dividing mechanism is not calibrated, but it could be also the camera is broken. I hope I can calibrate it. I have consulted with the manual and now I have loaded another film on this Kiev. Let's see how this goes. I will report in one of the future upcoming episodes. Meanwhile, Stanislaw is doing an amazing job at repairing ancient old cameras. I Not a... have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but it does look impressive. I have suspicion. Do you have extra parts as well? No, the, the main idea is not to lose any parts. What is going on with that? 